Gyanwapi Mosque in Varanasi is currently facing a legal battle. Hello, this is Mehek Anand and you're watching Himcom News. Adjacent to the Kashi Vishwanath Temple in Varanasi, the Gyanwapi Mosque has been in feud since the past few decades. Several petitions have been filed before the Varanasi Court, Allahabad High Court and Supreme Court, alleging that the mosque was built by Emperor Aurangzeb, demolishing the Kashi Vishwanath Temple. According to sources, a Varanasi-based lawyer, Vijay Shankar Rastogi, filed a petition in the lower court claiming illegality in the construction. The Varanasi court in April 2021 directed the ASI to carry out a survey and submit its report. However, the bodies that run the Gyanwapi Mosque contested the petition and opposed the Varanasi court's order. The matter then reached the Allahabad High Court which ordered an interim stay on the direction to the ASI. Following the order in March 2021, a Supreme Court bench headed by Justice S.A. Bobre agreed to examine the validity of the Places of Worship Act. Till Sunday, 80% of the premises were surveyed in eight hours over two days. The third day of the court ordered videography, survey of the Kashi Vishwanath Temple Gyanwapi Mosque complex began on Monday morning amid tight security. Does the 22 locked rooms of Taj Mahal hold a secret? Judges belonging to the Allahabad High Court do not think so. Filed by a member of India's ruling Bharatiya Janta Party, the petition demanding the opening of 22 locked rooms were dismissed by the court on Thursday. Accepted history doesn't impress Mr. Singh. Many of the locked rooms that Mr. Ranjish Singh is alluding to are located in the underground chambers of the mausoleum. The petition was prompted not by archaeological interest, but as more usual these days by Hindutva interest. ASI officials were quoted in a report as saying that the rooms were kept from the public due to safety and security reasons, and nothing had indicated the presence of any idols. These rooms that are officially called cells are not permanently closed and were recently opened for conservation work, as told by an ASI official. Adding that all records scrutinized till now, over the years, have not pointed to the presence of any idols. The urge to show that the Taj Mahal or Gyanwapi Mosque's heritage is Hindutva-based and that the Mughals trampled on that heritage is the sum and substance of the current debate. The question is, will this debate ever reach an end or will it kill the essence of our history? For further information, keep watching Himcom News.